Hello everyone and welcome to a new week of Road to TCG Worlds 2016. Now city championships are finally over. I unfortunately wasn't able to get another top 4 finish or better, but I do have 6 top cuts in a row in city championships, so I guess that should count for something and I hope to continue on with that really strong performance into regional championships in order to first off seal our day one invite and second off uh, try to get that day two invite which is obviously very important for us. Now onto the today's deck, the poll featured um, two of the very same style of decks. One was Whaler style and the other was this Houndoom Mill. Now the poll ended up being tied at 18 votes each, so I decided to feature this deck because it's honestly the more popular version of either deck. So to start us off, we do have Houndom EX, which whoops, we do have Houndom EX, which Melting Horn it just automatically discards the top two cards from your opponent's deck. So if you combine that with a few energy denial trainer cards or supporter cards, um, Lysanders to mess up with your opponent, and things like um, things like Enhance Hammer and things like that, um, you really can get a lot of mileage out of those two cards because your opponent needs to set something up in order to KO Houndoom. Therefore, um, he is forced to to use Sycamore and Shaman and things like that, which obviously make your life easier, right? He can't just sit there and wait to top deck what he needs while you yourself are milling his own deck. So that's the main strategy to use Melting Horn. I don't think we will ever use Grand Flame, but you never know. Now, as far as support Pokemon go, we do have Bundle B, which Due to the fact that with Delta Barrage it can attack twice, you can actually use Burrow and get the exact same effect from a uh, Houndoom as a Bunnelby. So Bunnelby acts as your seventh price card, but it can also uh, be very useful with Rototiller in order to get back things like Enhanced Hammer or Crushing Hammers in order to reuse those cards and try to deny your opponent from ever attacking. Because if you manage to do that, you'll be pretty certain that he will have a hard time KOing your Houndoom while you remove even more resources from his deck. Now we do have one Jirachi which could also be important to buy yourself a turn uh, towards the end of the game and special because it discards special energy. So for example if you have a Team Flur Grunt uh, or a crushing hammer and your opponent has a mix of basic and special energies you can actually combine Jirachi with more energy denial to really set back your opponent a few turns and finally we have the mandatory two Shaman EX and once again I am featuring the full art Shaman EX which um, today is the 18th of January I will be giving out this exact card on the 31st of January to one of the lucky few who follow me on Twitter and retweet my top tweet. Now moving on to supporters, we have a very wide variety of supporters this time around. Um, first off for draw we have 3 Sycamore, um, 3 Birch, just so we can keep on cycling through the deck and we also have one judge or two judge rather to mess with your opponent because even though you do refill their decks um, you could potentially deny them some cards they actually need uh, and are holding on to in their hand and discard them afterwards with Houndooms or Bunnelby's attack and you do have Ace Trainer for the exact same reason except you get more cards and your opponent gets less, even less cards we also have one Hex Maniac in order to prevent Shamans, to prevent Crobat drops, which could be very important. We do have um, two Lysander, because you might be able to lock something in the active spot with that. Um, decks don't run very high amounts of switching cards, so unless your opponent is running Sorark, the Lysanders could be very valuable, especially if you Lysander up something that has a high retreat cost or even a one energy retreat cost that's one energy less that you are forced to discard with your own cards 
Um, we also feature one AZ to try to prevent prizes from your opponent. And we finally feature the energy denial. Three Team Floor Grunt. Now this is a card I absolutely hate when it is used against me, so why not use three ourselves? And finally one zero sig because that can either remove spe special energy along with your enhanced hammers or you can remove a Pokemon tool and uh, potentially attach a head ringer, delaying your opponent a turn even more. So that covers the supporters. We do have the mandatory four verse seekers because you do want to use all the huge range of, su of supporters we are running. Four Ultra Ball because those net us our Houndooms and potentially the Jirachi, some draw with Shaman and our Bunnel Bees. And we have. Let's go in order from left to right, top to bottom. Four Crushing Hammer, pretty mandatory. Um, <laughs> I really wonder how many heads we're gonna flip throughout the week, but you really can't run a milling deck without four of these. Two enhanced hammer in order to ensure energy, special energy denial, especially those double colorless energies don't hit the field or don't prove too useful for your opponent. Um, one super rod because we do have a low energy count and we do have three houndum, so we might need to get out one if one is prized because we will never be taking any prizes with this deck or maybe not never but hardly ever like very unlikely so um, we really need to get our houndums out if we manage to prize one or even two potentially um, three super scoop up once again to prevent prizes um, your opponent might be close to getting a KO on houndum but if you get the super scoop up heads um, you do prevent that and since you are limiting the resources he can use it becomes very crucial um, two trick shovel just in case you need to get an extra an extra card in the discard or things like that um, and it makes the mill go a bit faster or you may want to discard one of your one of the cards in your own deck for whatever reason um, I really doubt we will be using that effect ever um, two Team Aqua Secret Base, because as I was saying with Lysander, it's a really nice combination in order to prevent your opponent from easily retreating. Um, because what this deck makes is make your opponent misplay. He might bench something he doesn't want to, thinking ahead, or he might not know how to exactly counter your deck. He might want to draw an extra card with shame and things like that. So Team Aqua Secret Base, I think it's going to be very important throughout the week. Um, two Assault Vest, once again, not only are you denying energy with Enhanced Hammer, you also reduce the damage you are dealt if you cannot um, prevent that damage. So that's probably the most useful tool you could be using in this deck. Maybe Hard Charm, but um, most, most decks are using Special Energy, so Assault Vest really should put in the work. And finally, three head ringers in order to try and get them turn one and attach them to our opponent's basic Pokemon EX in order to make it harder for them to attack. Now, that's everything I've got to say about the deck. And I honestly don't know how short or long the games with this deck will be. So let's get right into it and find out. Now, just a quick mention, if you would consider disabling Adblock during this video to support the channel, I would really appreciate it if you enjoy what I do. And we're up against a Grass Psychic Metal Colorless deck, so potentially Vespiquen Crobat Bronzong, I would imagine. Um, your opponent might also not suspect you to be using a Houndoom Mill deck, but he might think it's a Mega Houndoom Offensive deck, so that might lead to some misplays from your opponent's end at the beginning of the game. Now we do start Bunnelby and not Houndoom, but we still get that um, discarding effect. Now, wow, what does Celebi do? When this Pokemon is knocked out, flip a coin of heads, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. And it places one damage counter on each of my Pokemon, so not exactly sure what kind of deck my opponent is using. But, okay, gonna play the Trick Shovel to thin out my, or rather, yeah, to thin out my deck because I am forced to use Bridge here. 
I do remove one energy, so that's probably one of the best trick shovels we could have hoped for. And I can't do anything but play a birch and hope for a head flip here. I do get tails, but I do get a houndoom. Now, I want to hold on to the head ringer because I could go for a shaman here and keep drawing cards. But I don't know if that's the right play because I don't know what my opponent is using. So the head ringer could be important. But, huh. Now I am going to ultra ball away my two cards. Having that Sycamore in our discard pile does mean um, every Verse Seeker can potentially be a Sycamore. And wow, so my opponent just concedes right away. No idea why, maybe she was using a pure grass deck and she figured she had no chance. But let's just keep moving on. Now if games are super short like this and opponents concede really quickly, it might be like last week where <laughs> um, I had a video on Wednesday, I believe, or Thursday. No, it was Wednesday, where that video featured six games because the first five we won really quickly due to getting uh, turn one Trevenant and things like that and really limiting my opponent's options. So maybe once my opponent realizes this is a Houndoom mill deck and he's used a Sycamore or things like that, he will give up quite quickly. But now we're up against a water deck, I believe. I do go second, which means I can potentially get the turn one mill. Unless my opponent decides to go second, which he doesn't. And this is looking like a primal Kyogre deck. Yikes. My start is definitely not good at all. Like, at all. Um, any Houndoom or Bunnelby would have been pretty great, but starting Shaman is definitely not good for us. Now, wow, it's size me toad, primal Kyogre, and he goes for a hex maniac. That means I can't even shame in here. Okay, fortunately though, I do get the Houndoom. Now the question here is, okay, I want to play as many item cards as I can right now, so gonna play my assault vest I will play my energy yep and since these Pokemon have very high retreat costs and I'm not worried about rough seas being in play because I don't do damage at all just gonna grab my shaman for next turn hopefully it's in the deck otherwise we're gonna be in a lot of trouble it's not priced so I I will not play it down. I made that mistake at a city championship earlier in the season, actually. Um, <laughs> I played down a Shaman while my own Woe Fed was active, so that was not <laughs> great on my end. But he, is, he top decks a Verse Seeker, goes for Hex Maniac, and he's going to buy himself another turn, I guess. He goes for two Water Energy. I'm completely fine with that because I do have the Team Flare Grunt. So I will delay his luck a turn further. And I do top deck a head ringer. So that's pretty amazing. I will attach it to the active. I will play the Team Flare Grunt. Remove his energy. And I'm just going to pass here. I'm in no hurry. Um, this is a very slow and methodical deck. And... <laughs> Getting that energy in the discard is great. Getting that head ringer is absolutely fantastic. Especially when he has a seismic toad in front. And hopefully we can actually use our shaman next turn and get some get another energy to retreat or our AC even. Now he uses an ultra ball, goes for Hoopa. This guy has a Kyogre Sprit Link, yep. So he's probably going to get Shaman, Primal Kyogre, and potentially another Kyogre. So we have a lot of potential Lysander targets. And thankfully, yeah, that's exactly what he goes for. Thankfully, there aren't any, what do you call it, any more Keldios. So we're not afraid of that at all. We should be in a pretty good position. So even though it is Grass versus 
fire and whatever you might want to think um, we should be okay here provided we get something off of our shaman now he could potentially play hex maniac once again because he has not played a supporter yet he does attach energy to Kyogre but I'm really wondering how he's going to get Seismitoad into the active spots I'm guessing yeah okay he has a super scoop up which he does flip heads that's definitely not good but he decides to get shaman back so seeing that super scoop up tells me he probably has um switch and um az but look at that he's already down to half his deck so as long as we get something going and potentially our lysanders and bundle bees and all of that he has a lot of high high retreat cost EXs on the bench um, we still do have two more head ringers so I'm really not scared at all he flips another heads on <laughs> super scoop up that's two out of two but once again he gets shaman so I really don't mind that I mean he's drawing so many cards he is setting up which is bad but just in theory based on the matchup or based on the Pokemon he is actually using um, with such high retreat costs and all of that I think it's going to run out of energy to retreat eventually so as long as he doesn't KO us and another nice thing about this is the fact that Primal Kyogre removes energy from the active spot and sends them to the bench so if we manage to change something like a Tinfler Grunt with, an with a Crushing Hammer head flip um, we could be in for we could delay my opponent quite a bit and wow he actually has the escape rope he's not going to play it obviously but we do top deck the fire energy so he might get a KO and Shaman next turn but that's perfectly fine by me um, our ha enhanced hammers are no good here we do have a team flare grunt for potentially the next turn and that's really all the supporters we have right now so I'm gonna retreat I'm going to send Houndoom up what tool did I attach a salt vest which also will not come into play and I'm gonna use my ultra ball to discard to discard the verse seeker and the crushing hammer maybe the verse seeker is not ideal but um gonna get a bundle be here because I mean Houndoom will get KO'd by Kyogre anyways and there's really no big difference between these two and if he plays the um, if he plays the escape rope I will hand him a shaman KO really don't mind that and I'm just gonna melting horn and discard the top two cards off of his deck what were they they were a trainer's mail and a muscle band two irrelevant cards that's not something you want to see but I think we're still okay here he's really thinning out his deck so he only gets one water energy though so maybe he realizes the threat now of Houndoom but after I use this Tim Flur Grunt right now I really don't see how he's going to recover off of that without really running through his deck so as long as we manage to switch out of this I'm gonna sacrifice the non full art <laughs> shaman because I want to keep the full art in play and he decides to draw up to five cards so all we gotta do is attack eight times or less with houndoom and or bunnelby and he just keeps on using cards so this like I said this is one thing um, you can count on with this deck is your opponent misplaying <laughs> now he does get a super scoop up off of the trainer's mail will he play it no he decides to get a Lysander so he will KO Houndoom that's definitely not good for us but it's not the end of the world either 
Um, as long as we get a Lysander sometime soon, um, he should be out of energies quite quickly. Now the damage onto Shaman might start piling up, which would definitely not be good for us. But, I mean, we have no board presence whatsoever. We do draw the Ace Trainer, which I will use in our next turn, because right now, if I remove this energy, I really doubt he will have a way to to attack us next turn and afterwards I can simply use my ace trainer refill his deck a little bit but give us mu uh, give us a lot of options with our six brand new cards he gets the spirit link I mean he could potentially evolve yep attach to energy to that flip heads on prime yeah he has a super scoop up we know he has a super scoop up is that really a Karina? Does this guy really run Karina instead of Skyla? And that's his third heads flip. That is his third, third heads flip in a row. Any of those he doesn't get, and things would be quite different here. Yeah, he does have the other energy. So he will KO Bunnelby here. And now I'm worried because he seems to have everything he needs and three super scoop up heads. I mean, he did misplay the first two, I guess. Not necessarily true, but huh. Now the ideal card to draw here would be a Lysander. But we get Jirachi instead. So let me count. He has four energy, f five, six, seven. So only seven energy total. With the Ace Trainer, I'm hoping to deny him two energy for next turn. I myself don't get any energy, which is definitely bad. But I do have the Lysander to buy myself a turn after this to get that seismitoad up into the active slot or most likely the hoopa i think because if he eventually powers up wow that's his fourth super scoop up and he flips tails finally so three out of four very nice now i don't want to see any double colorless energies or prices or things like that so i think i'm just better off Lysandering up the Hoopa because an AZ um, works either way for him. He does get a Versus Seeker, he goes for Karina, so <laughs> can't believe he's running Karina in a pure water deck. Probably gets wow, he gets Professor's Letter, okay, so he will have two more energy in play that's the key here will he have a way to get rid of to get rid of houndoom from the active spot or hoopa not houndoom sorry he does ko shaman and all he needs to do is attack with primal primal kyogre once we haven't seen a single crushing hammer ourselves we really did drop very poorly. Now I will promote Houndoom. <coughs> and okay. So I'm gonna play Super Scoop Up. I flip head I've tail, sorry. Now I will bring up Hoopa. Hopefully he doesn't have the AC he needs to win. And I'm just gonna pass here. Let's see what he does. Does he have the AC? Yep. <laughs> He immediately has it, so um, we really stood no chance because we were never able to delay to delay my opponent, um, not with the hand we started off with, and he flipped the crucial super scoop up heads, so nothing we could do there. So we start off the week with a loss, and that's one of the problems of this deck. I mean, you put no offensive pressure, 
so I never saw any of my crushing hammers um, if I could have delayed those a bit more maybe I would have stood a chance he got what he needed after the ice trainer but he did have auxiliary I guess so not much you can do in that situation now we're up against potentially Lucario bats or based on his coin it could be a Mega Mewtwo deck <coughs> I think I would rather face Lucario Bats though. Because one Mewtwo could just run us over. And another thing, we also weren't able to take advantage of our special energy denial cards. So, yeah. Now we mulligan once. Let's see. And <laughs> we start off Shaman once again. So. We go second, another sub-optimal start for us. So yeah, not much you can really do about that. My opponent does play the Karina, he will go for Lucario, probably a muscle band of some sort. Um, no, he goes for the Professor's Letter, pretty smart. That guarantees two energy for himself. He does have the Fighting Stadium, so we won't even be able to potentially play the Team Floor Grunt because of the risk and he doesn't even attach to the active so hopefully he doesn't attach a Pokemon tool to that Lucario so we can head ringer it that would be pretty great for us and he already has the AC in his discard pile to be reused so pretty good start for my opponent thankfully he did not attach a pokemon tool card so gonna head ringer that lucario i'm gonna try and flip heads here i do thankfully and now i'm just going to ultra ball get myself a houndoom ex and next turn i mean i won't be able to attack this turn unless i flip a heads on super scoop up but I re I'm really not expecting to get something like that. I can, however, replace the stadium. I can bench one Bunnel Bee, even though it will probably be targeted by Crobat. And I'm just gonna pass here. We do have an Enhanced Hammer in case he wants to, to attach a strong energy. But no, he just attaches the basic he had in his hand from the Professor's Letter. Next turn, we are faced with a difficult decision, either I AC the, sh the active Shaman and potentially try and get some... Unless he gets a KO right now. Um, he flips heads. Uh, is he going to get a KO? Or is he just going to... Do no, he's not even going to be able to do any damage because of the head ringer. So, I'm fine with what he did. So definitely going to AZ the Shaman up. Try to get that energy. Because since we did not get it last turn, I still won't be able to attack this turn. And that's one problem with this deck though. You can see our hand starts clogging up with potentially useless cards. And this Shaman is only going to be for two cards right now. A fire energy would have been amazing, but let's see if we manage to flip heads here. Wow, that's two crushing hammer heads in a row. I'm gonna attach the assault vest because there's really nothing else I can do, and I'm really hoping he attaches a. I'm really hoping he attaches a strong energy right now. Although he only has one card in hand, so he might just pass. Yep. He complains about our luck. I know, man. Trust me. I know. I know the feeling, bro. Now, I really do need an energy to ensure we win. And I don't want to give him a better hand with Judge. So, I'm gonna use my Ultra Ball. Get out another Houndoom. The Full Art one this time. And I'm just gonna seek a more to try and find that energy. It looks like I'm the one who would deck out first. <laughs> but thankfully we do get that energy. 
and we really don't need to do anything else right now so i'm just gonna melting horn we have the team flare grunt to deny my opponent another energy next turn we also have another crushing hammer which is pretty great and he top deck a level ball so he helps us by thinning out his deck by one more subat and we know that last card in his hand wasn't useful last turn so it probably won't be useful this turn either so he will probably just pass right now and i'm not gonna complain that's two more cards we mill pretty easily plus the ones he draws um we're in a pretty good position right now i also i don't think i mentioned the pokemon center lady and wow that mill got us a focus ash irrelevant but a verse seeker that's always nice to discard now he's trying to give the houndoom but thanks to that pokemon center lady we're pretty okay um he does flip heads onto crobat so i'm gonna let the damage pile up just a bit more and then i'm gonna use my pokemon center lady to heal it off we are at no threat from him we know the two cards he has in hand, Golbat and Crobat. Um, his active Lucario cannot attack even if he top decks an energy next turn. So we are okay here. And we milled an energy. A strong energy. So pretty nice for us. He gets another 20 damage onto Houndoom. That's really not a problem for us. He gets 30 more still perfectly fine and let's see if the card he top deck finally a sycamore so looks like my opponent will be able to get back into the game he decides to attach a strong energy which we have a cerosic for in our discard pile so he also milled his own deck by seven cards with that sycamore making our job easier i guess and he's going to shaman so i really feel confident that we're going to get the mill next turn or not next turn this game sorry <laughs> yeah definitely not next turn <laughs> if i could find a way to mill 20 cards in one turn i'm pretty sure i would be world champion this year cerosic in order to mill the strong energy delaying him another turn we even have a chance to heal off the damage with super scoop up and we got another energy off of houndoom's attack yep a level ball irrelevant but an energy so those are always pretty good to see in the discard pile and yeah we have a for sure way to remove energy from him the team floor grunt and we have a crushing hammer and he just insists in getting cards out of his <laughs> out of his deck so we get a pretty easy meal here in my opinion i mean there's not really much my opponent could do after the way we started out the game um he gets a verse seeker which could be a lysander i guess um which he doesn't have in the discard pile just yet our stadium is also up, so he can't just bring up a Crobat or a Halucha to to stall or whatever. I mean, not stall. Now, do I even bother wasting the Crushing Hammers? No, I'm just gonna go with the for sure option because it is a guarantee and uh, it's not a flip. And it's also forced to be on the active slot, whereas Crushing Hammer can't get the energy anywhere it is, so... Two crushing hammers gives us good odds to get one energy off of my opponent's Pokemon. Now he's going to use that Verse Seeker for AC and try to damage us, or KO us rather. He will do up to 50 damage. If he has a Crobat, um, yep, there's the AC. He will KO Houndoom, but I don't see that as too troublesome. I mean, we are five turns off of winning off of Houndoom's or Bunnelby's attack um, but if you count the cards he draws himself wow he just huh oh I'm guessing he has a switch then if he decided to AZ his own Crobat 
Or why would you even do that? I'm hoping he has a way to switch out the active. He must have. Otherwise, why would you... Wow! <laughs> okay, so... I'm gonna go for a super scoop up. To honestly be more annoying, I flip tails. But my Pokemon Center Lady Heal will mean even if he aces the active right now, he won't get a KO. And I'm gonna flip tails on my third crushing hammer and in theory this should be another tails yep okay that's pretty fair so melting horn i'm gonna tell him 50 50 on the flips that's normal <laughs> 20 more damage perfectly fine by me we only need to attack three times he cannot draw enough prizes by the time he yep he had the other verse seeker but he's not even going to take a prize right now, I don't think. I mean, he's doing 50 right now. Unless he attaches another energy. Which we've done a pretty good job of denying. Even if he plays the stadium, the fighting stadium, he's not going to get a KO. So, 50 more damage. I mean, he draws a card. I mill 2 and he draws, that's 4 left. He draws another and I mill two. That's one left. He draws and I have Bunnel B or um or Hound, yeah. I mean and he's not even going to be able to one hit KO Houndoom. So I don't see absolutely any way for my opponent to win this match. I'm gonna keep my fire energy just in case he Lysanders or something and I am forced to retreat. And I'm just gonna Melting Horn. Yep, Zack, thanks for reminding me to play my energy. <laughs> you can see my opponent is really mad that I got those two Crushing Armor head flips at the beginning of the game. And he's down to four cards. There's really nothing he can do. And we even have another Versicard to deny him another energy. From the active. He's a row 6 the Assault Vest. <laughs> Not really relevant. He deals 30 to the bench houndum. He could have KO'd the active, but he opts to missile jab instead, so that's even less optimal damage. And have I even played Trick Shovel yet? I don't think I have. But I'm just going to, I mean, I could Zerozik or Team Fleur grunt the energy away. Either way, I force him to have energy next turn to even do something, and there's no way he KOs Houndoom, so two more turns and I win this game. Just gonna thin out my deck as much as possible. I won't be attaching my energy once again, no reminder from Zack this time, I get rid of another energy which is absolutely fantastic. Wow, I milled two energies, two strong energies. But it's not like it mattered at this point. We're probably going to get a hateful message from my opponent <laughs> really soon. I really, really see that coming. I mean, he's staying in the game. He might want to stall us out, potentially. Oh, he has Sacred Ash, but he only has one Pokemon in the discard pile, so... He just passes and I Melting Horn for the game. His last two cards. GG, Hunter Shida. And we finish off today. One win, one loss. Not bad for the deck. And I mean, the first game we really had no chance. Because we drew terribly. But as you see, um, even if we didn't get those two Crushing Armor heads at the beginning of the game. I think my opponent didn't stand a chance because his deck also... Um, stopped working I guess for a little bit so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching um, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it I'm I'm hoping we can get up to 35 likes on the video so if you guys could help me out with that that would be extremely amazing I would love you all for it and I will see you tomorrow in Spanish or on Wednesday in English all right bye bye